Cubs win! Cubs win! Cubs finally win the World Series. All is right in the world. I was there. Joe Madden was there. Lynn Bramer was there. Obviously, Bill Murray was there. Even Jim Harbaugh and his dad were there. It was amazing. I wish you were there. That's right. Come to think of it, this is about you, Mr. 50. And about us, because we love you. Here's Liz on her 50th birthday. And here's me on my 50th birthday. So, well, happy birthday. Yay for Kendall. Happy birthday. Yay. Hope you have a great birthday. Okay, okay, there is more. But I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, okay? The big thing is, we miss you. And remember those times when we spent so much time together. Watched our kids grow up together. Watched uh, each other grow up at the same time. Worked on projects together. Laughed together. Played together. Those are good days. Days when a young boy catches his first fish. Okay, maybe it wasn't his first fish, but I'd like to think it was. And a young girl, too. Days when we fed the animatronic eagle fish. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good memories. And I hope you remember all these on your 50th. Hard to believe they were that young. Hard to believe we were that young. Hard to believe we had any idea what we were doing. But it sure was a lot of hell of a lot of fun figuring it out. And thank God, as usual, Deanna had all the answers for us. When it came to filmmaking, however, we were on our own. And boy, did we ever learn. Who takes their first film and makes a four-hour epic documentary? Pretty cool stuff. And great memories. We learned a lot. We traveled a lot. We laughed a lot. And we made a pretty damn good film for a lot of people. And now, I hear somebody else has made another one. And so it goes. I don't think, however, anyone's going to make a film about Rodney. At least I hope they don't, because we then have missed our chance. Patch Adams. Wavy Gravy's bus. Do you miss this guy? Me neither. And back to the island for another film. Pretty cool little film, actually. And of course one that I don't think anybody's going to make again. Kind of a one-shot deal. Maybe that's our specialty. It's that whole dying breeds idea. That was a good idea. Why didn't we take that one up and run with it? Anyway, pretty great stuff. And then, of course, there's AHA. AHA I like to consider the glue in our relationship. Because what a treat it is to be able to get to see you every single year. Work together, laugh together, do some pretty good work together, wear funny hats together. I let you shoot crazy things like this. Get all arty. I don't care. You want to shoot more of it? It's fine with me. Go crazy, Kendall. Every little industrial film needs that. Between the travel, the amazing people we've met, and the opportunity to make fun of a lot of really nice people behind their backs, I wouldn't trade that job for anything. After all, it was AHA that got me to Maine the last time. And boy, was it freaking cold. Fun to ski together, but it was really freaking cold. Do you remember the first time we made it to Maine? More family fun, and hard to believe... All those kids were that small. My girls still have great memories of that lobster boil in the backyard. Although I'm not sure that Gibson remembers it quite the same way. And speaking of Gibson, Liz has never forgotten the story about when they were kids. Jumping around in the other room while we were trying to have a drink. And all she heard was, I'm in love, I'm in love. And when she went in the other room, she said, Gibson, you're in love? And Gibson said, I'm not in love, I'm in lava. I can't tell you how many times Liz has retold that story. Have I mentioned the Cubs won the World Series? Have I mentioned how much I miss going to baseball games with you? Nights like this? Days like this? Okay, you were here then, but it was socks and it doesn't count. Okay, you were here then too, which was pretty great. And yes, we did see you here for the Bears game, and that was pretty cool. But you weren't there for lunch. Okay, you did come to the island that time. But you didn't come skiing with me. And you certainly weren't there for the wiener truck. Or to go to Havana. Or the night Obama won. Or this Cubs game. All right, all right, I get it. I'll stop. The point is I miss you. 
but I'll change the subject. How about daughters? Ever since Parker was born, you've always asked for me for advice on raising daughters, which I think is pretty funny. Because the truth is, I don't know what I'm doing. Same as you, we just muddle through, we love them the best we can, we indulge them whenever we can, spend time with them, and well, sometimes it doesn't work out. But you try to steer them in the right direction, you try to give them the right things, and sometimes they try other things. The best you can hope for, I think, is that everybody just has a sense of humor about things. In the end, I think I got really lucky. And the bottom line is, I think you did too. You've always been a fantastic dad, so it's no surprise that you have a fantastic daughter. Of course, you have a pretty fantastic partner who's also been a pretty fantastic mom. It's no secret that we are blessed people living blessed lives. We are blessed to have the people around us who love us as much as they do, and we're blessed to be able to love them back. You as well as I know that this richness of life is what counts the most and the thing that you look back on about this time when you turn 50. So today, from all of us, happy birthday, my friend. Kick back, have a drink, and enjoy.